Hi, it's Miss Nikki Ann, and this is part two about the bad experiences I had this week. I left off in the story talking about Dr. Jeffrey Kluger, a cardiologist and POT specialist affili affiliated with Hartford Hospital. And so that was Tuesday, and um, I went home. <laughs> it was a difficult day to have um, prepared myself and my mind and, and my heart and spirit and to not have made any progress. And so then the next day was Wednesday and I was frustrated and also having some issues with my colon. And so I had an appointment um, for group meditation with my psychologist for Wednesday but I figured you know I'm not getting anywhere maybe I ought to do what my um, neuro-ophthalmologist recommended and go to bring my issue to doc to my GI doctor and so I said well that's at the same hospital where I'm going to for group meditation so I might as well just drop there and also had some blood work for my vitamin D that I needed to have done for uh, uh, my, my GI. And so um, so I left the house, um, wow, was it a couple hours early before group meditation to um, go and speak with my GI. And I got there with my walker because by now it's what this is yesterday and I was feeling really sick because my colon just has really stopped functioning and I am also at the time in need of um, intravenous fluids because um, I didn't have them last week like I was supposed to like I was told what would happen because of a mistake and then they were just booked until this upcoming Friday which is tomorrow so I'm leaning on my walker I'm so sick and um, even that morning I was ha um, having difficulty swallowing so I was choking and gagging um, on my my food and my my water so I walk up to the office and I um, to, uh, in the actually the day before after I had the bad experience with Dr. Kluger I um, did get on the phone and call my GI and left a message about um, needing him to contact me and so instead I wound up showing up um, which was fine and the nurse said oh sure um, he was he did need to talk to you he was going to be getting back to you today but have a seat have a seat and he'll be right with you which was great but took my walker and the purse sat down and all of a sudden my world just went wrong as it usually does when I'm about to have a transient ischemic attack which is um, also known as a TIA or mini stroke and so I get up I go to the window and I say to the nurse I'm not feeling too well I might pass out so I'm just gonna go and lie down on the couch over there I don't want you to didn't want you to think anything was strange her eyes lit up and then all of a sudden um, everything just started to go anyway and she's like no you have a seat right there um, going to get the doctor and all the nurses came out and it turned into this big and I just kept pleading with them I'm fine this will pass I just came to talk to um, to you I'm talking to my doctor talk to you doctor you know GI um, I have group meditation I need to get to that appointment because <laughs> It's the one thing I enjoy doing each week and I've missed it for the last month so I had been really looking forward to going um, but Dr. GI is like no there's no way in the world Nikki that I'm um, uh, gonna let you go without sending you to the ER I'm like please whatever you do don't send me there it never works out they make me worse instead of making me better he's like I cannot let you have a, a mini stroke and not send you to the ER I was like, but I came to talk to you about some important things. He's like, at first, let's let's handle this. So I go to the ER. It's a it's a hot mess. He had already um, 
gone down and spoken to everyone and um but when we enter the triage nurses are arguing with my GI's nurses because they're pushing me right through the back because all of a sudden I said I'm going down and I had just decided and they're arguing and I hear this argument and I'm fading out I'm like I'm just gonna lie down here right on the floor and I was going no and so my um, GI nurse just like pushes me past the triage nurses and gets me to a gurney or whatever the triage nurses were upset to say the least and they start this argument and, and the triage nurse is like, I'm a nurse. And, and my GI nurse is like, I'm a nurse. And my patient is here passing out. I figured we could discuss this after we've gotten her situated. And they're going back and forth. And then since that was happening, I was um, passing out upon entry. They went ahead and pushed me right to the back. And um, I didn't need much triage because that's one of my hospitals and all the information is there and my nurse probably you know understood that anyway like and she said to him the doctor has been here because the people I don't think even realize it, the doctor's already been here she's she's having a TIA she needs bad 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 and so then the ER doctor I spent time fussing and arguing with her because she didn't know about POTS but I'm like um, well do you know about and I was naming my type of POTS do you know this or that she was arguing about with me about bolusing the feeds and um, the um, IV saline I'm like fine whatever you want to do you know um, it's fine with me so she did run the first one bolus and then the second um, she ran it after 250 um, milliliters, um, but so I had two um, liters. But today I'm still dehydrated because it was just run too quickly for my body, and I know it was hard for her to understand it. And but for whatever reason, that's the way my body's operating. I don't know scientifically why. Um, but I wish you could run it fast and it'll all be a, a, a fig, efficient and effective, but it's just not. And so, um, so you know, she's doing all the questioning and I was telling her all the stuff that was happening. She was like, you, you need a specialist, you need a specialist here, not in Boston. And I told her about what had happened and how I tried um, and the thing that happened with the cardiologist and spent my whole day at the ER. No group meditation. I have not seen the specialist. I still haven't spoken to my GI doctor. He did come down, but um, he came down when she was like, okay, oh, come to find out my potassium was low, which is never, I've never had low potassium. I always am anemic and have um, leukopenia, but never low potassium. And all of a sudden I have low vitamin D, which I've never had. And so they had to do that. And um, she was like, you, before she was, I was about to go and she was telling me I really need to um, book with their neurologist there and um, see my GI and all this needs to be done, you know, within one or two days in primary care. Well, I'm, I'm leaving my primary care. It's a whole other story. And so um, while she's talking, she's like, and I don't know I tried calling Dr. GI I'm, I'm a little frustrated that he hasn't gotten back to me and the whole time she doesn't know he's standing right behind her and he's an awesome <laughs> doctor <laughs> I'm just like and and then she looks back she's like oh is this your ride I'm like no that's that's GI and so I'm thinking fine it's my opportunity to talk to him and ask him about the IV fluids because I knew that the way they had run it wasn't going to help me even though a good thing to have an appointment for Friday um, at the infusion center all day but she walks off with my GI and I didn't even get a chance to talk to him she walked off with him and started having the conversation with him he was coming to talk to me because he, I had called up to the office and said please have him come down I need to t still talk to him about these things still haven't spoken to him not even today and that part's another story just hold on <sighs> but 